Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video and a brand new spot. Today we are going to learn how to do a 360. This is an all around great trick. It's good whether you're a flat run rider, street rider, park, dirt, whatever style you ride, you should learn this trick. So first up you want to find yourself a flat spot. A car park, a basketball court, a tennis court, any flat area is perfect. You just need a bit of space to gather some speed and then actually go into the 360. Start off by rolling an average speed, like two, three cranks, a bit faster than walking pace. Find yourself a spot on the ground that you want to start your spin on. So pick a point in the car park, wherever you're riding, that you'll genuinely 100% just go for the trick. So now, once you get close to that spot, you want to start carving in a little. So start turning into the spin without actually picking the bike up yet. It's a little bit more than you would carve for 180, but you don't want to overturn it and kind of jackknife and fold in on yourself. Carve into your spin a little bit and then get ready to pick the bike up. You want to compress down almost like a spring and then be ready to shoot up with loads of power. This trick does require a lot more power and a lot more throwing yourself into it than 180. And you'll find that through the carve, you already have done some 360. And that's okay, but make sure you don't do that too much. Now for 360, you do need to hop a lot more than 180, but start off in the same motion. So start off by carving, then pick your front wheel up, pick the back wheel up like a bunny hop, scoop the pedals up with your calves, pull the bars in close to you, turn your head over your shoulder or into your armpit. Uh, it's personal preference. The looking over your inside shoulder will help with the momentum of the spin and help you the full 360. So when your car finishes, really pull into the hop, pull the bars up and scoop the back wheel up. And with the extra compression at the start, you should find yourself going past the 180 point very easily. You might even get the 360 spin straight away, but just keep practicing. It won't take you long to get the full spin. It might take you a couple tries to actually land it and not have to put your foot down. And that's another thing. Make sure you don't get into the bad habit of putting your foot down. That'll come natural to you when you start spinning around at first. But just put a mental note in your head that you have to keep both feet on the pedals. When you're around the 180 point or a little bit past it, your bike will hopefully still be on the way up. Don't hook up just yet. When you get to the 270 point, tuck the bike up pushing down on the bars to, hook, to bring the back wheel up a little bit higher. This will do is give you a little bit extra air time to complete the spin fully. As for the landing, try to land back wheel first, then front wheel. Not too long apart, just kind of back front. When you're ready to land, push down with your legs so the back wheel goes down first. And make sure you don't nose dive and land on your front wheel as you can go over the bars. So make sure that you push down with your feet once you're landing and just slam the front wheel down, roll away like a boss. To start with though, just make sure you're getting the full spin and worry about the landing later. Like I mentioned previously, don't get into the bad habit of taking your foot off and putting it on the floor when you're landing. Also make sure your carve isn't too wide. So you don't want to go in too wide a circle before you spin in. Your carve needs to be a little bit tighter so you're spinning around your own axi. Axi? Axis? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> and when your carve is tight enough, that'll give you the beginning momentum to start the full 360 and hopefully get it within a few tries. Also at first it's okay if you do 360 taps. So if you do 180 then put your back wheel down and spin the other 180 on your back wheel not completely in the air a good way of getting a feel for the rotation of the 360 before you actually go for a hop 360. the last thing really go for this trick try not to get like past 180 but under 270 300 degrees it can be unforgiving when you underspin and don't quite get the rotation so do really go for it 100 when you're going for 360 and give it your all so you get the full rotation within as least tries as possible and with the landing just like at the beginning of the 360 you want to cushion your landing with your elbows and your knees so kind of go down once you land so you're not fully straight and the pressure of your landing just goes straight through your arms and legs make sure to cushion down a bit just as if you were like jumping down off a wall or something like that and you also really need to throw yourself into it and throw your body weight into it tuck the bike up so you have the air time to spin fully and then just slam the back wheel down front wheel and just roll away 
And that's it guys, that's the 360. So whatever time of day it is, get out there and try this. I hope this could help you if you're trying to learn 360. If you're already subscribed, then smash that like button down below and remember to turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload. I've been trying really hard to stay consistent the past while and I've been uploading weekly. I hope you guys can appreciate that. I have recently moved house, so living here in the new town, I'm gonna make loads of new videos and there's a lot more opportunity for collaborations with other artists and YouTubers. So I'm looking forward to creating lots of new content for you guys learning lots of new tricks here and if you're not subscribed yet then I'd really appreciate it if you press that subscribe button down below send this video to your friends who want to learn the 360 if you can already do it then I hope you grab some tips from it you can do this trick anywhere on flat ground on ramps on dirt jumps in a racetrack literally this trick is so versatile and you can do it before or after combos included in combos this trick can lead to a lot more than just the 360 so I think it's a really amazing addition to your bag of tricks and yeah once again I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video peace